Hello, YouTubers. It's Bill. And Eric. And what day is this, Eric? Thursday. Thursday, June 11th, 2009. And where are we? In the car. We're in the car. Yes, we are. Where are we going? Train station. We're going to the train station, but on the way, we're going to stop at Starbucks and get uh, him a hot chocolate and me a cup of coffee. And I'm going to downtown Chicago. Hey, come on along. I'll show you what it's like to take a train to downtown Chicago. But first, let's stop at the Starbucks and get a cup of coffee and a hot chocolate. There's the Starbucks. And here we are going in. Yeah. It's a grande extra with hot chocolate for you. Yeah. And a grande coffee and a venti cup for me. Let's go. You know, that blue sign says it's the Metro Station. And that's the Mundelein Water Tower. But really, it's not very well marked. So we made it. We're at the Kiss and Ride. But, <clears throat> I mean, but I won't, uh, yeah. Well, I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. And I made it to the train on time. Excellent. Hello, YouTubers. It's Bill. Today is train safety day here at the metro station. Train safety. So when is it safe to park your car on the train tracks? Take two. When is it safe to park your car on the train tracks? Never. The audio presentation right here it was just explaining that trains cannot swerve to avoid you. They do not have a steering wheel. Is this really news to anybody? And here comes the train. It's a long way off, so but I made it. So this is the head end. And the engine is a diesel locomotive down at that end. The cars are double-decker, and you get on from a center, central door. I like this seat, because this is the car that has the, uh, the bathroom. Is that wrong? Completely. So now it's just a chance to sit back, relax, enjoy my cup of coffee, try not to spill it on my shirt, and uh, in an hour I'll be in downtown Chicago. So, I mean, there's a lot of this. You know, you get to read your cell phone, you get to drink your coffee, you get to read a book or the paper if you brought it. But it's basically just an hour of sitting here waiting for the train to get to downtown. That's it. You watch the scenery go. Some of it's prettier than others. So here's something you can do on the train. Read articles from the paper. This is one about inflation or deflation that my father sent me from the Washington Post. What's interesting about this article is that <clears throat> with most economists you get an opinion. With this economist you get two opinions and the answer is only time will tell. So it's like covering all the bases. I enjoy, I, that's one of the reasons I like economists, yeah, uh, economics. Uh, you can have an opinion and be right, and you can have the opposite opinion and be right, and you can do that in the same article. Thanks, Dad, for sending this to me. So this is the quiet train, and what you'll probably notice is that almost everybody is asleep. This guy's talking on the phone, but he's talking very quietly. So that's it, the train has arrived in downtown Chicago. It looks like it's leaking, maybe it's raining up topside, but uh, I've arrived on the ground and uh, now walking to taxi to the customer location. Thanks for following me. This is one of the Metro train engines. It looks like it's a General Electric SD45, or General Motors SD45. Nice train. And this is the track five where the train comes in. This is Union Station. Well, this is the, uh, the Northwestern Station, part of the Union Station in downtown Chicago. Well, looking at the skylight, it looks like it has been raining here. Didn't bring an umbrella or a raincoat. Not good planning. But this is the, uh, the under, underground uh, maze of shops and restaurants that precede the entrance to the train station. Heading out to Adam Street. It is a light drizzle. Some people have umbrellas. I'm not one of those people who's made out of sugar, so I won't melt. However, I might take a cab. By the way, this is the mighty Chicago River. That is the Adam Street Bridge. This is the Jackson Street Bridge. And that, up in the clouds, can't even see the top of it, is the Sears Tower. You know, if you're in Chicago and you need a place to take a, a quiet place to take a conference call, you might consider this. This is the atrium of the Sears Tower. Over there you'll see uh, an Alexander Calder 
mobile, mobile, mobile structure, mobile art. You see a couple of other of these pieces here as decorations. Cool little place and quiet enough for a conference call. So this is Millennium Park. They have these water-covered brick towers with images projected behind them in like uh, LCDs or something. And then sometimes water comes out of the fountain. So as you round the corner, this is what you see. It's like a giant kidney bean. It's all very reflective. It's called the bean or skyscape or something. That thing over there looks like the thing in Barcelona or Disney Theater in Los Angeles. And as you walk under, oh, there I am over there. As you walk under it, you know, you distort and or don't. The heck is this? What kind of reflective surface is it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Very cool though. Okay, I'm done. You know, it's one of those things I'm glad I came to see, but I'm also equally glad I didn't drag my kids here against their will to see this, because I'm pretty much done. So this appears to be a stage. Here's the performance stage and the red seats down here are permanent. And then there's a large lawn area here with speakers above it. So people who didn't get seats but wanted to have a picnic could camp out and, and hear what's on the stage and maybe see it too. Cool.